Welcome, welcome, folks. All right, it's Chris and Gia, Chris at ChrisandGia.com. Back again with you guys with another one exciting today. So today, I'm gonna share with you a quick tip on something I was jiving on with a friend of mine, actually a business partner of mine, just yesterday, and it was it was a good topic, and we were talking about it, and I thought, you know, this would be something good to share, right? It's And it's talking about how real estate and network marketing are really actually siblings in the same house. So the house, if you think about it, is entrepreneurship, right? Everything entrepreneurship Right, and that in itself is a certain type of house. You gotta be in that house and thinking like, thinking a certain way just to be in that house in the first place. Then you have all these different stuff you can do in the house, right? And then you got, so the way I see, I see real estate as like the sexy older sister, right? Very well known, very well accepted. She's cool wherever she goes. People like her, right? She just got, has a good reputation, right? And network marketing, <laughs> Is like the scrubby little brother, right? That like nobody wants to be around. He's annoying. He's like not cool. He just has a bad rep, you know? But the funny thing is that they're both in the same house. They both live in the same house, which means what? They both abide by the same rules, right? And the same rules that apply in both in, in both of them apply and you in order to be successful. So Kind of wanted to go through some quick similarities on that, and then I mean, if I'm wrong, you know, hey, I'm hey, please, you know, please post a comment, give me your thoughts, give me your likes, give me what you think, you know, I'm all about it, you know. There's no right or wrong to a certain degree. I'm open. I love to hear what everybody's thinking. So here's my take, real quick. So, so quick five or six similarities and and one or two differences. So first one is that mindset, right? Both of them live in entrepreneurship in the house of entrepreneurship. So you need to have a certain mindset. What is that mindset? It has to be a mindset of winning, right? It can't, you have, in real estate, you have to have a mindset of success. In network marketing, you have to have a mindset of success. You have to, you have to be learning and growing. And really, it just comes down to the, the degree in which you, which you grow yourself is the degree in which you will get paid, really, right? Your income will never exceed your level of growth. That applies in anywhere you go. Right. I mean, and it's if you think about it, it's true because I mean, I was in stocks. I was in real estate for two years. And I failed at it. Right. It wasn't until I got started in the home business industry and network marketing that I realized that it's not the different stuff that I was doing. It was me. Right. My met my mindset was not right. Right. And so if your mindset is not set for success, it's not set to win and to be on to to go at it and to keep going at it and to learn and to grow and to grow yourself, it, you're gonna, it's gonna be a struggle no matter what you do, right? So the second thing is that in both of them, you're gonna have to learn how to sell. And when I say that, what I really mean is learn how to communicate. Because the funny thing is that everybody will say, a lot of a common objection is, oh, it's not me, I don't wanna sell. But, in, in, but when you think about it, you're really actually just communicating. Right? And in real estate, you're trying to figure out, hey, how can I help you? Here's the, here's the thing, because both in real estate and in network marketing, there's the same issue. In real estate, they're like, hey, can I sell you a house? Can I sell you a house? Can I sell you a house? <laughs> and in network marketing, the same thing. Hey, you wanna buy my product? Wanna buy my product? Wanna join me in my business? Right? <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just like pitchiness, right? It's pitchiness. Don't be mistaken, folks. In real estate, even though she's a sexy, she's the sexy sister, she's just as hard, which is the reason why 80 to 85% of agents make little to no money at all or never even make a sell in real estate. Real story. That's a true step, right? It's because they're in pitch mode all the time. Want to sell a house? Want to sell a house? Can I sell your house? Can I buy, help you buy your house? Same thing. Same thing in network marketing. About 80, 85 to 90% of people struggling, right? It's because of the lack of communication. So it doesn't matter which one you do. You got to learn how to communicate, which, is, which means you need to learn how to come to your client, your customer or prospect and say, how can I help you? What can I do for you? Provide value to them. Help them. Funny thing is when you actually help them, you'll get you'll be helped too, you know? And so that's a huge thing. Another issue with thing is 
marketing. Marketing is key, right? Is what agents are taught to, and trust me, this is what I was taught, to get business cards and go out there and start passing them out. Pass out your business cards. Here, business card, business card, business card, right? <laughs> which is cool. I mean, it's a form of marketing, which is prospecting, right? But it's not the only form. You know, we're marketing, same thing, right? You get business cards, you're just passing them out, passing them out, passing them out. Hey, you want a product? You want my service? You need, you need, you need electricity. You need health products, right? And you're just passing them out. And it's just like, okay, that worked. That's okay. But, I mean, it's not the only form of marketing. Things like putting your, you know, have a car sign on the car or put, um, you know, you had your face in the grocery store on the park bench. I mean, those are cool, but it's very limited forms of marketing, right? And it's the same thing in, it, in real estate and in network marketing. True marketing, true marketing has to not sound pitchy. It has to be you coming at a, at a place of value. How can I help you? You're in real estate. Hey, I know that you're a first time home buyer. Hey, here's a report on stuff that can help you decide on the things that you need to know that for a first time home buyer. What you need to do to do and know that you may not know, right? Maybe in network, network marketing, here's a list of benefits of, of the product that I have you, that, you may, that may be helpful to you, right? It's just providing value, right? And so in real estate, you need, in terms of marketing, you need lead generation. Got to be make, getting leads, right? If you don't get leads, your business is dying. You need that in network marketing too. And real estate, referrals, I mean, man, agents are always asking for referrals. Like, I, even in an email I saw, they were saying, hi, thanks, hope you enjoyed my business. And the biggest compliment you can do for me is give me a referral, right? Someone who's looking to buy or sell a house. Agents do it all the time. And network marketing is not done as much. But it's super powerful. Oh, you you couldn't use this product or service? Well, tell me one or two people that could, that could really use this business, use extra money that we could help them with, right? That's not done a lot, that done very often, but it's huge. So, but in both businesses, you need referrals, right? Guess what? In real estate, you're building a team, right? Got to build a team so you're building leverage, right? You build a team of agents that are in your organization and you teach them how to go and sell houses so that you can get compensation from them as well. Same thing in network marketing. You build a team, same thing, right? <laughs> you build a team, you go out there and you show them how to go out there and, and, and do the same thing you're doing so that they can build a team for themselves. It's pretty pretty awesome, right? So, but for whatever reason, in network marketing, it seems like, oh, why right, you're going to get me to get under you and get them under you. But it's the same thing happens in real estate. It's called leverage, building leverage. And anybody and everybody can do it, right? So the funny thing is in real estate, in order to do it, you actually have to have like a broker's license. And you, and you can't get that until after two years of being an agent. Yeah, I know this, and this is this is only in this is in Texas. I don't know about other states, but then then you have to take a broker's license exam, right? And those things, those things aren't cheap either, right? So in real estate, you have to kind of wait a little longer before you can build that leverage. And network marketing, you can kind of build leverage almost day one, right? So it's that's pretty awesome, and I think that's one of the biggest things that people don't. You may not understand it in terms of the fact that, hey, he's a scrubby looking brother, but he has, does have some advantages there, right? And so, I mean, you know, and that's pretty much the, the, the main stuff. You know, am I crazy? You know, I mean, feel, like I said, feel free to leave some comments, leave your take. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it, but that's pretty much my take. Here's the bottom line. It doesn't matter which one you do. You have love for real estate. You have love for uh, network marketing. You have love for stocks. You have love for private equities or private investments. It doesn't matter. Right? Either one. If you got love for it, that's the one you want to do. But don't be mistaken. If you're in the world of entrepreneurship, if you're in that house, no matter which room you go to, you're going to have to have certain basic things. You're going to have to communicate with your customers and your clients. You're going to have to market appropriately. And you're going to have to be in it for the long haul. It's just, it's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, you know, Jim Rohn. <laughs> so, hope you guys got value. Hope that was helpful. If you did, man, find me on my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash 
Chris and Gia Lifestyle. Not only give me a like, but also roll your mouse over to following and hit the click to uh, see first so you can see all these good tidbits and videos as I roll them out piping hot. And if you're concerned about generating more leads, then feel free to check out that link on how you can generate 50 leads per day for free in your business. So until next time, guys, y'all be blessed. Stay hungry.